it's really in the flight drill. It's going to be, every, the timer's going to go off in 30 se every 30 seconds, so you can take it back or just stay up. It's only a five second break. It's going to be <clears throat> two rounds, so one minute in, four, in regular form plank. Then we're going to take it to the side for 30 and to the other side for 30 and back to four on plank. Just repeating it through till you get to either six or 10 minutes. So come on up, push back, draw those shoulders back and hold it. We'll hold this for 30 seconds. And then, like I said, you can push back if you want to. You got a five second break. So otherwise it's five seconds to transition. But we're just going to stay in the, in the four on plank for the full minute. So we'll just know when we're halfway through when it beeps, right? So we stay up here, draw the shoulders back, tighten that core. That's 30 seconds. Okay, we're back in it again. I'll aim you for our next 30 seconds, then we'll take it to the side. I need to clean my floor. I'm telling you, I know what tomorrow's gonna be. Today's my late work day, so tomorrow will be my clean floor day. All right, we only have five seconds and then we can switch to the side. Draw those shoulders back, come on. Okay, taking it to the side. Arm up or not, that's completely up to you. Hold it up here for 30 seconds and then we're gonna go right into the other side for 30 seconds and back to forearm plank. After that. And that'll be two minutes down once we get to the other side. So do as much long as you can. And again, you can go to child's pose if you need to. Take a break for 30 seconds if you need to. Okay, so one, switching sides. Right into it. Put yourself up there, come on. Keep those hips up. Going back from this into regular plank, front plank. Right now, draw those shoulders back. Nope, stay in that. I almost went to the side. Not yet. One more. Draw those shoulders back. Come on. Take it just in. Think about your day. Think how you could form this day and make it a wonderful, magical day. What can you do today to uplift somebody's spirits? to the side. What can you do today to lift somebody else's spirits up? Think about that for a little bit. There's someone you should call that you haven't talked to in a while. Is there somebody you should send a little text message to? Taking it to the other side now.
back down again. That right there is four minutes. Drawing those shoulders back, come on. Tighten that core. Okay, that's 30 seconds. We got another 30 seconds in this position. over your week. Start with Monday. Just think about Monday. Kind of Monday, meeting, Monday morning meeting and it's always a busy day. Take it to the side. Think about the highlights of Monday. on over to Tuesday. Like Tuesday seems so far ago. So long ago, so distance. What happened on Tuesday? Take it to the other side. Those hips up, come on. We're on Tuesday still. Come on back down, that's six minutes. Okay, on into Wednesday. Wednesday, yoga stretch day. Ah, oh, felt so good. Really needed that. And it's a fun day in the office. Sarah's works in the office on Wednesdays. Makes it where we tackle plenty of things that are come up that we need to take care of. Work through several items. Makes another busy day, but it's a good day. Stay in or take a break. Either way, this is the second set of 30 now. Kind of think about Wednesday for a few more minutes, or seconds, that is. Five seconds till we go to the side. Go to the side. Thursday. Take in your Thursday. What did you do? Reviewed some files with the clump with Charita. Went over how to do property tax returns. Came down several things to get done. We gotta switch it to the other side. Outside of working out, my life right now is pretty much work. Seeing clients and different things. Come on, tighten up. Back to forum. That's eight minutes. So what about yesterday? What happened yesterday? 
For me, start of the day off thinking, what can I do to lift someone else up? What can I do to change this day's routine? And God took care of that for me. Stay in it or go to the side. A gentleman by the name of Tony came by in the morning. He's come by a couple times before. I gave him a, we had a cup of coffee and talked. He didn't lie to me. Um, he's got stomach cancer. He's on his way up to get treated slash be a guinea pig. Right, so they're going to be busting him up to the different medical center for that. So I'm praying for him. And he talked about how when he was working and everything, how his life was one way. And then his perspective, how it's changed so much since he's been on the streets. On everything. But he felt like he had nothing to lose by letting them use him as a guinea pig because... Nobody's ever going to see him anything different. When they look at him, they just see a homeless man. I'm like, you're a wonderful man. He really is. He's a great guy. Has lots to offer. He looked at my spirits. It was just what I needed yesterday. To regroup and, re and get a different perspective on what I'm going through and what I'm doing in my life. What is it for? For my future. But I need to remember to enjoy the present too. And that's 10 minutes. And then right when Lulu comes to join us, huh? Search it back. Oh, wait a minute, come on. Let's do a twist. Is it job? Use planks for things to work through things. Use planks for whatever you need. Um, I like to sort through my week, sort through my days, plan out things, do my devotions. They're a really wonderful way to get some focus in, in all areas. You can focus internally, you focus on the muscles, you tighten them up, you get stronger and you build it in so many different ways.